Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, courtesy of Audi of Burlington. I can't believe I say stuff like this. We have the 2016 Ford Shelby GT350. Mustang, yes. 5.2 liter flat plane crank V8 with the Recaros. This is essentially fully loaded with the Recaros. 892 miles on it. And it still has the original window sticker. It gave it a price of 57345 Competition orange over ebony. G1850. Alcantara steering wheel. I should technically be wearing gloves, but. I'm fine with not. Uh, we're in track mode. Exhaust baffles are open. I have driven one of these before. I think it was a 16 too. In the trunk, it still has, uh, when you bought one of these new, you got a flat plane crankshaft. So it still has that crankshaft. What on earth? Oh, man. I don't know if this one has the resonator delete, too. The clutch, it's a little finicky at first. It's very, 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 very light, and all of a sudden it gets really, really heavy. Um, I'm used to driving cars like this. That's weird to say, too. I'm used to driving cars like this, so I'm used to it.
I'm gonna flat out apologize for the traffic, but that's why I got on it when I did. Oh, got your oil pressure, oil temp. This gearbox, which I think it's either the Tremec or a Getrag, one of the two. It's probably the best manual that's ever been in a Mustang. This is, it's really, really sad to say this, but this GT500 is cool. I've driven one. I couldn't really push it. I was um, in the wet at Spring Mountain. But there will never be another flat plane crank Mustang. NA V8 flat plane crank like this. This is the last just unadulterated fun. And it's a shame that we have to go to electric now. What's so funny is the car I just reviewed before this is the Porsche Taycan. Now, the Taycan is like the polar opposite to this car, but they have the same purpose, being fun to drive. Now, I'll embrace the electric future. I'll do all that, but... There's just nothing like, nothing like this. This is spectacular. I'm in love, man. So actually, now that I'm thinking about it, this one is not fully loaded. There's no way, because uh, it had a bigger screen you could get. You could get the leather seats, which is actually probably the one I would want. Um, change your modes, suspension, steering.
Yeah, I'm keeping it in fifth. It's really happy, 2,500 RPM. That's a tappy spot. And it really doesn't make a lot of power until 3,500, 4,000 RPM. Because I'm flooring it there and there's power. Obviously, it's not like a Chevy Trax. But there's not a lot going on. It's a very, I mean, this is peak linear power band. Thank you guys so much for watching please like share oh no I'll film until I get into the dealership you know what this car it's worth it Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.